Welcome to our Wild Lap Book video, where we're going to go through some amazing resources, as well as looking how can you can make your own amazing Wild Lap Book. We're going to look at how we've put this together, as well as having a good look through it at the end. So we're starting out on the Twinkle Home Educators webpage, where if you go on View More, you will find all sorts of activities. And if you go all the way down to the bottom, there is outdoor learning, and that's a really good place to start to look for some resources. So there's special packs for 30 Days Wild, as well as lots of other resources. So there's so many different things you can look for. We're gonna start by printing this out. You can actually print more pages on a sheet if you go down to more settings and you can pick how many pages you want on a sheet. I find this really helpful for making lap books because they're that bit smaller and actually sometimes um, you don't need them to be as big as they are. So it also helps save paper too. We'll then have a look at some of the other resources. So this is really brilliant because you can just spend a bit of time on Twinkle printing off any bits you think are useful or that your children find interesting and really personalise and make your lap book unique to you. Such as these action cards. I know how much my children like jumping around, so I'm printing off some of those. Again, they're a little bit big, so I'm going to print them a lot smaller and have four pages to a sheet. I've also found some fun bunting, so I'm going to print some of that off for my lap book just because I think it look really nice in there. I'm not sure it's practical though, but I'm going to print them off quite small. So that's 16 pages per sheet. Once I've printed everything off, I'm going to get everything else ready. So I've got a few envelopes. So I've printed some of those off from Twinkle and some just some normal envelopes from a shop. And then I've also got some card and some paper in case I need that while I'm making my lap book, a stapler, a hole punch, a guillotine, scissors, string, some split pins some sticky tape, some glue, and lots and lots of printing. So I've just printed out everything that I know my children find interesting, and I'm going to see if I can squeeze it all in there. But I have actually got two files in case there's not enough room and one. So then it's spending a bit of time cutting everything out ready to go in our lap book. Once we've cut everything out, we can start to put a few of the little activities that are going to go in my lap book together. So with our Nature Explorer journal, I'm actually going to hole punch this together and I've made a cover using a piece of card and then hole punch the side of that. And then I'm just going to split pin those together. And this is a really nice book lot I've found on Twinkle. So I'm really excited to be able to do this with my children. Um, I'm also going to make a little flip book with these action cards and to do that I'm going to cut up some strips of paper and then start by gluing one of the cards down onto the bottom of one of my strips of paper. So then I have, that's going to be my main card. Then what I'm going to do is stick on three more strips. So then I've got it just like a petal book and then I can stick the cards on next to it so I'm going to stick one on one side and then I'm going to fold it so it turns into like a little flat book and do another card on the other side so once I've stuck one down on one side I can then fold it and then stick another card on the other side and this then just makes a really interesting flat book so rather than just having cards so we might lose the cards we've actually got them all together and then it just makes a bit of fun trying to find all of the different pictures and see if we can do all of the different actions as well. So once I've done that on a few, I can keep going around as many times as I like, making it as complicated or as simple as possible. So again, just sticking one on the front and then folding over and then sticking another card on the back. With some of these resources as well, I have printed on card as well as paper, just because we want to be using outside cards a lot more durable. So for all the information booklets and the challenge cards I've printed off, I've used thin card. So once you've done that, just cut off your excess and then you've got a really fun flat book that you can put in your lap book, finding all the different actions. I've also made this really fun What Am I Guessing Game wheel. So to do that, I've printed off the What Am I Mini Beast Guessing Game. I've made it quite small because I'm trying to fit it onto a wheel. I've then drawn around something circular and stuck my animal pictures on. And then I've got a bigger circle where I can put the What Am I cards on. And I've put these around in a random order so they don't automatically li all line up correctly at the same time. You have to keep spinning them to find the right answers. So this is really, really fun because you can just keep playing with it and going with it and seeing if you can match them 
all up to the different ones. So this is quite a nice one as again, because maybe it's a bit of an indoor activity in case we've done lots of outdoor things and we just want to do this at home. So to get my lap book ready, if you don't already know, you can just cut off the flaps of an A4 folder. You can also just use pieces of card sellotapes together as well. Again, this is what's so fun about lap books. You can do them however you like. Because we're making this one a bit bigger, I'm going to glue the two flaps together so I've got a really big lap book. Then it's time just to decide where everything's going to go in my lap book. So I'm just going to spend a bit of time arranging everything and leaving a few gaps, maybe for things we might add in as we go along as well. Let's have a lap book look through then at the final finished lap book. So this is our wild lap book. I have used some of the wild letters from Twinkle and Leaves to decorate it with because I really like those and that really adds to it as well. So those were a nice find and I printed the letters off a bit smaller. And then I've put everything in envelopes. Some of the envelopes are ready made and some I've cut out from Twinkle. And then I've just made some labels as well for those envelopes. So we've got a section for all our scavenger hunts and there's so many different scavenger hunts you can pick from Twinkle. So we could either add those in as we do them or I've got a few there to start us off as well. And I've made the envelopes quite tight, which is nice. It's harder to get them back in, but it means then they're not gonna fall out. So we've got our nature explorers journal. And because this is split pins, it's really nice because it actually means we can add more pages as we go along and do this and always rearrange things as well. Then we've got this section on viewfinders. So there's an amazing viewfinder, so we can look at clouds, we can look at birds, sketching outdoors. So that's actually a worksheet, but I've cut the middle out so we can use it again and again and use it as an art viewfinder doing some pictures. We've got our challenge cards. So we've got patterns in nature, mindful senses and nature photography. So I've put all sorts of different challenge cards in there and we can tick each of those off as we go. I've also then put the nature photography challenge cards in as well just so we've got some other ones to pick from and the land art challenge cards which are really fun these id sheets are brilliant and there's loads of different ones there's fungi there are seeds there's butterflies there's there's bees so we've put all of those in there so we can spend a bit of time looking at all the different things we find this on the outside here, I've put the numbers 1 to 30. So you might be wanting to spend 30 days in nature. You might want to spend 30 hours outside. And we could tick off each of those as we go. We have also got our flat book. So we've already had a look at this in a bit more detail of how I've put that together. And I'm just trying to work out how I did that. Because as I said, you can have lots of fun folding this up in different ways. And then try learning how to unfold it and see if you can find all of the different bits. So once you've unfolded it, you can do all the different activities and then see if you can remember how to fold it back up together again as well. We've got an amazing bee facts fan book as well. So that's from the bees lap book. So there's a few facts in there. We've also got a bit of an indoor activity again of parts of a flower. So we maybe we might do that section on a rainy day. The What Am I Mini Beast Spinner is our guessing game. So that's really fun because, again, we can just use that as a more interactive. Um, we can just do that on a rainy day. And we've also got parts of an insect. So we're going to go through that together and then fill in some of the blanks. These Mini Beast Nursery Rhymes are really lovely because we might read some of those when we're outside. We may read some of those when we're inside, but it just means we've got them to hand. And Twinkle's got so many inspirational posters. I've printed one of the posters a bit smaller and put that in there as well. And then finally, we have decorated some wellies on the back, ready for our adventures with our wild lap book. Don't forget to share yours. We love to see what you get up to and we look forward to seeing you again soon.